All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. So Sheba is trying to make a move here. Uh, we're going to move our uh, downtrend over here just a little bit. So Sheba, as we pointed out last time, is in a downtrend here. That is confirmed by the moving average order, uh, the gaps in the moving averages. So we'll see if we can continue to grind higher here. So this bullish divergence that we pointed out last time on the MACD uh, seems to be playing out. We came down, we tagged the bottom of our box here at about 8.4, uh, almost perfectly with that green candle there for a nice little bounce. So like I said, um, keeping it simple here, what to watch for. You need to get over the 21 day EMA here at 9.0. That is your first stop where we're getting stuck right now. So a break over 9.0 is going to send you up here to the 50 day EMA, which is currently at 97, as you can see there in yellow. And that is going to be your next stop for about a 10% move from where you are right now. Uh, so just kind of watch those prices as it continues its uh, journey to the upside. And then ultimately we need to get over the 618 here. And from where you are right now, that is about a 14, 15% move uh, to get over the 618. If we can get over the 618, we'll erase a zero off the price and get back over this one zero and we will actually break the downtrend as you can see here so that's what we need to accomplish on Shiba here if we can do that depending on how long it takes you may get up here to the 618 and this downtrend and you may actually meet your 200 day moving average here so it may be pretty heavy resistance by the time you get up here it's all going to depend on if you have some green candle spawn in or if you're just going to slowly grind your way up here you know over the coming weeks uh, it's all going to depend, so just kind of keep an eye on all those different prices, kind of keep an eye on where the moving averages are. But ultimately, uh, I would say this 1-0 is going to be a tough price to get over. But once we do get over 1-0 and we actually uh, eat a 0, uh, I would say Shiba is going to be extremely bullish at that point, and then we'll actually start looking at way higher price targets on Shiba. But as of now, you know, it kind of worked out perfectly. Our bullish divergence, our little box we've had drawn here, bounce perfectly off of it and we're at our first resistance here so just watch all those prices we just discussed and we'll leave it at that on Shiba as long as you stay over this box you're still good to consolidate and uh, potentially have these prices taken out and move higher so we'll leave it at that on Shiba not financial advice thanks for watching everyone peace out